Okay, I uh, got in my large pist uh, pistol primers, my 300s. Uh, those came in yesterday. You ever wonder why Federal always has such a huge box? Look at that. I mean, if you look at uh, these, um, yeah, I mean, why? Okay, so they're nicely isolated. But uh, at the same time, uh, they take up a lot of space. So I'm going to... I'm going to load some of these. Uh, I forgot in my last video. I got these uh, CCI Magnum Large Pistol Primers, number 350. I'd, I'd forgot to uh, mention that. Um, and then I showed the uh, uh, gold medal match, uh, Large Magnum Pistol. And then I've got the Winchester Large Pistol, the WLPs, for standard or Magnum pistol loads. And I got some S and B's, uh, I have 20 in here, and then uh, got the ones that just came in, the CCI 300s, and then these are the ones that came in last week. Yeah, these are uh, two of the most expensive primers I've ever bought. Uh, these were 76.99, I think. Uh, Stewart County Ballistics. Uh, no, excuse me. Uh, Yes, maybe SCB or Tools and Target. Uh, just yeah, I think it was uh, Stewart County Ballistics. Just got some of these, and he paid the same price, seventy six ninety nine, twelve ninety nine shipping through Midway. But I've got them, and then these were incredibly expensive, eighty five ninety nine. And one of those two guys, Tools and Targets or uh, Stewart County Ballistics, one of them. Uh, I watch both of their channels, follow them. Uh, they'd gotten some of these Federals from. Uh, uh, yeah, Natchez. Okay, sorry, brain fart. Um, got things popping up on my screen, but I'm gonna. I've got some of these uh, Starline 45 LC. Uh, that's a hundred right there. Uh, I have five of those. Yeah, that was a mistake. I think I did a video here I don't know, a couple months ago where my wife went to buy 300, and for some reason it didn't show up in her cart. So she went to buy 300 again. That said, she could only get 200, and at that point, she should have known that uh, the order had gone through, but she didn't know, and so she got 200, and then when she got out of that, uh, all of a sudden, 500 popped up, so yeah, I've got more than enough brand new Starline brass to last me for a while, but uh, I'm going to do 10 rounds of each one of these. I was only going to do five rounds. I'm going to do 10. Because I want to do five rounds in, in my Ruger Vaquero and then five rounds in my Henry Big Boy X. And let's see if we get any velocity differences. And we're going to use the unique powder and uh, everything will have the same exact load. So let me get these primed up and we'll see where we're at. Okay, so I've got these all uh, primed. And you can see I write on the cases um, like this. It's Federal. It's number 155, large pistol primer. Um, if you do this, then if you drop them, you're not going to have any problem finding out which ones are which. CCI 300, large pistol primer. And I've also been marking on all of these uh, how many primers are left. Oh, what does that say? 88. Yeah, for some reason, uh, this was missing one. And then uh, as I was using my rcbs auto prime or yeah bench prime auto prime whatever you want to call it uh it flipped a primer out on the floor and yeah i'm not going to find that uh maybe when i move i will okay so federal gold medal match large pistol magnum um so on and so forth so uh now these are all primed so i am going to uh charge them and the bullets I'm going to use, the Lee 452, 252, semi wad cutter. Um, I didn't really want a 15.4 BHN, but uh, just for practice, um, we'll get rid of those. So that's uh, 60, bu uh, 60 bullets out of there, and we'll use those. Okay, well... Let me get these charged up and we'll see where we're at. Oh, I like my Yeti coffee cup. My wife got that for me. Wasn't she sweet? That's 20 ounce. And uh, 
And I'll tell you what, <laughs> it's been sitting in that cup for well over an hour. Mm. Still hot. Okay. Anyway, I had to finish that off. I uh, love my coffee even in the middle of the day. And uh, yeah, it's getting towards the end of the day. Okay, so let me get these charged up and we'll see where we're at. Um, I'm not going to get be able to get out to shoot these for a couple of weeks. Um, I thought today I would be picking up my new pickup. Uh, it came in on the train on Wednesday morning at 4.30 in the morning. They unloaded it from the train. That's how well you can track things nowadays. And it went into the rail yard. Uh, the dealership contacted me on Wednesday. Says, hey, good news. Your pickup's here in the state. But getting it transported out to my town, it's going to take another week. So it won't be out here until next Wednesday. Uh, next Thursday is my day off. And that's the day that my wife and I both have off. Uh, I'm back on the Wyoming runs now. And uh, no more of the Utah Super Doubles. After this last week, I'm going to get back to Wyoming and I'll be pulling the Rocky Mountain doubles. And those are a lot easier to pull, a lot easier to deliver. And yeah, it's been kicking my butt. So uh, I'm not ashamed to admit it, but when you unload 75,000 plus pounds in one day of paint, uh, you're doing it all manually uh, with a pallet jack, of course, but that's still a lot of pushing and pulling. And, uh, then eight different uh, stops. That's just a lot of go, go, go. So anyway, not don't mean to complain. I get it done, uh, but it's sure a lot easier with the Wyoming. Uh, but anyway, so next week I'll be getting the pickup. So next week's video will be farewell to my True Blue um, uh, 2017 Silverado 1500. And hello to Red Hot, my 2022 2500 HD. Okay, anyway, let me get these done. Okay, so I'm trying to keep these as consistent as possible. So that's why I'm using every one of these. Uh, our brand new Starline. Everyone's got the same projectiles. Uh, got everything set for the same overall length. Um, same cre uh, crimping, same flaring, everything. So every one of these cases will be the same uh, in case anyone forgets what I'm trying to do. I want to see if there's any difference between Magnum primers, the Winchester LPM, which is large pistol, or uh, what is that called? WLP, uh, Winchester Large Primer. And uh, I want to see if, if there's any difference between any of those. Oh, no. Dummy, put that back over there to the flaring die. Oh, there's another thing. How much flare do you need? Uh, there's not a whole lot of flare on these. Um, when you put the bullet in, these are cast bullets. It's just barely starting. Don't go excessive on your flare. Uh, you'll start wearing out the case mounts on your, on your brass. Because you're flaring it, then you're crimping it, and I don't even use a whole lot of crimp. I'll show you that here in just a second. So, um, let me throw this in here. I, as you can see, there's not a whole lot. I mean, it just barely sits in there. Um, yeah, let's get it straight, Jerry. Tell me. Okay. Yeah, it'll go. Uh, it'll force itself to go straight, and then my full uh, my factory crimp die. So every every one of these are exactly the same. I don't have any difference in them. If there's going to be any chronograph difference in um, in in these, then it will be solely up to the primers. I'm also using. I very seldom ever tell anybody what my charge weights are. This is a safe charge weight, 8.0 grains of, of um, unique. That's a safe, uh, safe charge, so I can say it. And every one of them will have exactly the same. It's just, uh, 
If you're going to do a comparison like that, you really need all factors to be exactly the same. That's what I'm trying to do. So, anyway, um, I'm going to finish all these off. Uh, first time I've actually been down to the reloading room to do any reloading um, in I don't know how long. Uh, it's been a while. I, life has just been so crazy with the new truck coming, with the house build, with work, uh, just life in general. Um, I haven't really had the opportunity. I apologize for all that. Um, the truck thing after next week, that'll be taken care of. The house thing, we went down and checked today. They still haven't started digging on the house. Um, we had some pretty wet weather all week, and that may have slowed it down. I don't know. I'll see if I can talk to the uh, builder next week and find out what their rescheduling is. Oh, we also had one other thing. Um, uh, for some reason, they forgot to add our entry door onto our build uh, spec sheet. And the only, I mean, yeah, we're going to have an entry door. But we wanted it painted black. Um, you'll have to see when the house is together. It, it, it's going to have black, grays, and whites. And they're all going to fit in uh, in a mosaic pattern and it, whatever. Anyway, it, it, it will look better than what it sounds when we're when the house is finished. But we wanted the black door. And believe it or not, we had to pay $270 just to get it painted black. Um, it is what it is. Uh, everything we did on this house was expensive um yeah forty seven thousand dollars worth of upgrades and options on the house um it, it could have been worse we could have done sixty thousand if we had gone crazy but almost everything we did was uh just for the sake of uh having it our way and what our vision was for the house so anyway uh, I'm going to get these loaded. So it might be a couple of weeks before I can get out to the range. We're in very unsettled weather. It's October. Um, yesterday when I came home, it was snowing here at the house. Uh, today, it was really nice, but I had to go into Salt Lake. Um, a friend of mine was passing through, and I had some things that I've been meaning to give him for a long time. And another friend of mine... Uh, had sent things up back in June. Uh, yeah, June or July. I can't remember what, what month it was. Jim, help me out here. Um, but anyway, when uh, I was down at Uncle Jim's house, he had some things he wanted me to, to give to Idaho Rogers. With everything else that's going on in our lives, um, I just couldn't get everything coordinated and I had some things I wanted to give him and one of them was a pound of powder and I can't send that through the mail but I thought well I just won't give him the pound of powder I'll give it to him next time I see him but he was coming through town so my wife and I ran in to see him for a little while and I could give him the stuff finally that Uncle Jim had uh, asked me to give him uh, sorry about that Jim uh, sorry it took so long, but he really hasn't had any time off during this time either, so it wouldn't have done him any good to get the get the things that, that uh, we were giving him. So now he's going to take a small vacation, and he'll get a chance to do all this, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so that took up a bit of the morning uh, into the afternoon when we had to get some groceries on the way back. Stop by the house build, see if they'd started anything. <sighs> and start getting ready for winter. Now it's my turn. I get an hour or two to do this. And um, hopefully I'm going to be able to get a second channel started up. Uh, it's just a vlog. Uh, it'll be, probably be pretty boring for most people. But if anybody wants to see what's going on uh, with the house build, with drone flights, with work, uh, things, or whatever, I'm going to start a channel just with vlogs. Um, my friend SCB, he did this with uh, uh, 
prepping, with uh, cooking, stuff like that. So, you know, I mean, a lot of people are starting these. And if you're interested, you can tune in. If you're not, yeah, it's not going to hurt anything if you don't. But I appreciate everybody hanging out with me. I'm going to get these done. And uh, as soon as I can get out to the range, we'll test these on the chronograph. We'll see if there's any difference between a CCI 350 large pistol magnum and let's just pick one. Uh, CCI 300 large pistol primer. Um, a Winchester WLP large pistol primer. We'll just see. Uh, you know, it's been one of those things that I'm sure a lot of people have been curious about. Now that I have some primers, I can actually try this. That's something I've been wanting to try for quite a while. So now that I have the primers, uh, I'm just checking, make sure I didn't dump any powder in there already. Uh, but now that I have the primers, um, I'm not going to squander them. Like I guess I'm going to do five rounds uh, with my Ruger Vaquero, five rounds with the, uh, with the um, Henry Big Boy X. And, of course, the Henry is going to have more velocity than what the Vaquero does. But let's see if, uh, you know, what kind of differences in velocities we get with each one of them. Uh, that way we're comparing apples to apples, oranges to oranges. Uh, apples being the Vaquero, oranges being, being the Big Boy X. Um, then we can see if different primers have any difference in velocities using Unique. We could do this with a dozen different powders, uh, but let's just try Unique since that's one of those that I have the most of other than Shooter's World Heavy Pistol, and I'm not ready to get into that. Uh, my friend Big E ran up some, uh, worked up some loads on uh, quick loads. I just haven't got those printed out yet, and I haven't started to uh, try to see if, if there's going to be uh, anything blowing up in my face. Um, heavy Pistol, uh, Shooter's World Heavy Pistol does not mention anything for 45 Colt. That's what I'm most interested in shooting right now. Yeah, they showed 357 Magnum, and I that's like my second favorite caliber to shoot. So I might work up something for 357, but I'm definitely want to work up something for 45 Colt because I really think if you're talking heavy pistol, those are 258 grain bullets. Those are heavy. So if they're going to call it heavy pistol, then they need to uh, live up to being heavy. And like I said, Big E worked up some loads and they look pretty plausible. And I'm going to see if I can shoot those without them blowing up my face. And uh, yeah, that's one of, one of the next things coming up after I do this uh, primer uh, comparison, but thanks for watching folks. Sorry to ramble so much. Uh, just know that you're always in my mind and I, if you have any ideas, uh, what I, what else I can do, you know, I'm always here to listen. Thanks.